fuck? What the fuck y'all got going on? Alright, how's it going, buddy? You know, Zuki. Oh, man. Well, that was probably the brightest part of my day within the last couple of fucking hours and shit. <laughs> Said no dude on bike. Fuck this damn traffic, son. I'm on a fucking bike. I ain't dealing with this. Y'all hoes have fun. So I caught the motherfucking heart going down the goddamn sidewalk up to the motherfucking bike lane. Not dealing with that shit back there, man. How's it going, YouTube fam, man? In case y'all can't tell, I'm pretty pissed the fuck off right now, man. It is Friday, February, what the fuck is today, the 9th? Yeah, Friday, February 9th, man. I'm just now leaving work over a fucking hour later than I was supposed to. And the reason being, because uh, on the way back in to clock out, my uh, truck and trailer decided to uh, say, you know what, let's go ahead and fuck up your day. Fuck up your, let's uh, get your weekend off to a fucked up start, you know? So yeah, here's what happened. On my way back in to clock out for the day, and uh, just a brief history lesson for you guys. For those of you who are new to my channel and that just don't know what I do for a living, uh, I used to be a what, would be, what you would call a small mower operator. I used to uh, be part of a lawn crew and stuff, you know, cut grass, weedy, edge, trim hedges, cut trees, all that kind of shit. I used to do that, but now I'm a painter. Well, I'm a certain type of painter. I'm a field striper, which means I'm the person that uh, paints football, soccer, flag football, lacrosse, all those different types of fields, all those different types of paint markers you guys see on football fields and stuff. That's what I do now. That's my job. So here we are. It's the end of the day. It's uh, like 1.30, 1.40 something. End of the day, right? So clock out at I clock out at 2.30, but 1.30-ish is our knockout time for the day. So 1.30, we're fucking done for the day. We come back in, and we clock out. So 1.30 rolls around. Day is over. I done cleaned off all my equipment because it's the week. It's Friday, so it's going into the weekend. I done cleaned off all my shit. Now I'm in a good mood. I'm hit, getting ready to move. Well, drive back into the lot so I can get ready to clock out and take my ass to fuck home, right? Nope. Bitch, you guessing. Hmm. And apparently I was fucking wrong. So what happened is uh, I'm driving along on I wait what was it yeah on I-95 Interstate 95 uh, for you for my foreign compatriots and whatnot. Yeah, driving down Interstate 95. Then uh, I get well yeah I go down a little bit. Then somebody pulls up beside me. Tell me to roll down my window. I roll down my window. See what the fuck they want. They tell me that your tire's blown out. Right. So I'm like the fuck. After, after hearing that, I look in my goddamn uh, side view mirror on the right side of my truck. Bitch, I got this trailer that got down smoke following me. And that thing I know, the metal flap, well, the uh, fender that goes over the tire, that bitch barely hanging on. So not only did the tire blow the fuck out on me, bro, that shit blowed out and ripped up so bad that it actually knocked the fucking fender off the damn trailer. And, th and that bitch was barely hanging on. The only thing that was holding on was one fucking bolt. Was for that one boat that bitch would have been one that came. Well, it would have went flying the fuck off. And god damn, man, if that shit would have came off, bro. Can you imagine that shit hit somebody got that windshield? That could have that fucked up if not killed somebody, man, you know? So, that's a very, very sticky situation there. So, what happened was, um, whenever a situation like that arises, I gotta call my boss. So, I called my boss. He called our uh, tire repair people, right? So, this why no one ever wants to wait for them, especially on a fucking Friday at the end of the day. So, uh, remember, all this with the tire happened between 130, 140. All this happened with the tire, right? He called the boss. The boss man said he called it, called it in the uh, the order for me. So I just gotta wait for the guys to get there. 
But then while I'm on the phone with him, he tells me that the guy's already up there in your area. So he first tells me that. I'm like, fuck yes, I'm not gonna have to wait too long. But then he comes back and hits me with a big fat ass butt. The moment I heard the words butt, I was, oh my man. <laughs> was, you ever felt, all right, you know what? You know that sensation you get in your stomach when the police turn on their sirens and they come up behind you and you think you're getting pulled over? How you just suddenly feel that drop in your stomach? That's, I've had that exact same feeling as soon as he said, but. So what happened was, when he said, the guy's up your area, but he's not in the right truck. Like, he was in the delivery truck instead of the, um, instead of his working truck they uh, used to make tire changes on the side of the road and all that stuff, he was in a delivery truck. So he was taking t delivery tires from one place to another. So I had to wait for him to make, finish making his delivery, then go back to his lot, get his truck for changing tires and shit, and come back to where I was, man. And I have you guys know, I was waiting, I say about, it was about an hour and 20 minutes before he got to where I was. So yeah, again, everything happened between 1.30 and 1.40. He didn't get to me. It was 2.45 when I saw him pulling up behind me. So an hour more or less. I had to wait for him. So he get there. I'm like, uh, what are we gonna do about this in there? He's like, the fuck you mean what are we gonna do about that? You may as well tear that shit off. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so at this point, I'm trying to not rip that bitch the fuck off. And then he's like, oh wait, hold up. You got a bolt in there. So had a uh, nut and bolt going through to the fucking uh, inside of a trailer, so had to open up the trailer so he can get in to uh, screw it. The fucked up thing about my job is they don't give us the tools or a spare tire for our shit. If anything happens, we gotta call in to the fucking repair shop and we gotta wait for the guys to come in. So, because of that reason, I heard stories of some guys where it being a fucking Friday as well, man, and they have a tire blowout or something. They say, fuck that. They drive that bitch all the way in. They don't get the, the, a damn thing. I go 10 plus miles. Man, by the time you, they end up goddamn metal. <laughs> Grinding metal coming around them damn corners, man. Shit, man. Oh, my God. I'm finally about to be fucking home in a bit, man. Get to see my wife. Well, she probably knocked the fuck out. But I get to see my son. Yay! Get to see my son. So, eh, it's more, more fucking good news for me today. <sighs> but long story short, fam, I had a fucked up Friday. So far. I'm gonna try to end this Friday on a good note. As you guys can tell, well, I'm sure you guys can tell, rather, the difference between how I sound now versus how I sounded in the beginning of this vlog, right? Um, the fuck are y'all doing? Oh, whatever. Anyways, fam, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, go ahead and leave me a like. Oh, don't, don't, don't try to move the fuck up now, bitch. Send your ass way the fuck back there. Wait until I go around her ass and say she want to move the fuck up. No, you, you kiss my motherfucking ass, ho. And there we go. <laughs> I'm right back in it. <laughs> ah, shit. Like I'm saying, fam, if y'all enjoyed the video, leave me a like on down below. Subscribe and turn that one beautiful, beautiful subscribers already. But me time, fam, it's me and boys, so I call it heart. As per usual. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah.